therefore this workshop uh, possible. I want to um, thank Mike Jordan here for twisting my arm into running this workshop in the first place, and Alistair Sinclair for desperately trying to keep me on track along the way, on which more in a moment. Um, our organizing committee, um, who basically helped identify the speakers and structure the program and the themes that we're hoping will come out, um, is Deepak Agarwal, Edo Eroldi, uh, Ashish Gol, Matt Jackson, and Jen Neville, who I want to give special thanks to because, as, as Alistair is aware, when I was lollygagging around and the deadline um, or the date for the workshop was rapidly approaching, uh, Jen stepped in and helped me really make sense of the program and structure talks into sessions and try to bring out themes and, and kind of you know rally people to volunteer to give these brief overviews at the beginning and lead discussions. And so I'm particularly grateful to Jen for her, her help. Um, I want to also thank uh, Carolyn Allum of the Institute, who's been terrific with logistics and who I just met this morning, but has been helping remotely um, quite a bit all along. Um, to say a little bit about the, the, you know, what I'm hoping to get out of this workshop. So like many of you, I've attended many you know, interdisciplinary workshops on networks and network science over the past few years. Um, that deliberately bring together people from many different disciplines who have an interest in networks of one type or another. And um, even though these you know, workshops like this one have been deliberately interdisciplinary, I always felt like there was a bit of a still of a theory experiment gap. And I think I was colored here by my, by my machine learning experience, being somebody who's primarily a theoretician. Still, when I go to machine learning conferences these days, it feels like there's not just sort of interaction, but serious traffic between people who do theoretical work and experiment. And there's sort of a loop, if you like, where you know, theoretical ideas get tested on experiment, which in turn suggests an improvement of the theoretical idea. And this still felt missing to me a little bit in the you know, area that's become known as network science. So the idea here was not just to be interdisciplinary, but more specifically to bring together people who primarily take a theoretical or formal mathematical view of networks from many communities, including math, computer science, statistics, and the like, with people who work with large-scale network data and you know, think about problems of estimating networks or estimating properties of networks or estimating properties of dynamics on networks. Um, so that, that was the idea, that was the original impetus for the workshop. And, and um, one of the reasons I'm kind of excited about this workshop is that unlike many conferences I go to, um, I, I've never met some large fraction of the speakers, um, even though I know something about their work um, from afar in the past. So there's, you know, I'm going to meet a lot of new people myself this week. Um, it, it, the, the original design for the workshop was to be this intimate thing where um, you know, only a few of us would have a conversation amongst ourselves to really get traction. Um, but the forces of the Institute are such that things cannot be done on a small scale. Although, if we keep with this, this rate of attrition, we'll I think of more or less fulfilled my original goals, which would be, would be fine with me. Um, but, you know, one of the things I've asked, we've asked speakers to do is to, you know, really um, emphasize missing research rather than completed research. So, you know, everybody's going to talk a little bit about what they do, but what I'm, what I'm really hoping we get out of the talks are areas where, you know, we don't know what the answers are, we may not even know what the questions are, we don't know what the models are, and to get this very diverse set of people who, you know, uh, span, the, you know span the gap from theory to um, experiment um, to really start talking with each other in, in a meaningful way. So for that reason, we've left a lot of discussion time. I'm hoping we can keep the interactions very, very informal. So we will ask speakers with each, in each session to, um, you know, come sit on chairs at the, at the end just so that, you know, we have, have something to look at on the stage. Um, but but it's, it's, you know, I think it's completely fine with me and the rest of the organizing committee if these discussion sessions are really discussions amongst the entire audience and not just sort of extended formal Q&A periods for the speakers. So please keep that in mind, um, you know, by which I mean you should feel free during the discussions to make comments that have nothing to do with any of the talks that you saw. Um, it doesn't have to be a question for the, the panelists per se. Okay. Um, great. Um, so the, the basic organization of each session is that we've identified somebody from the organizing committee to, be, to give just sort of a brief overview and, and sort of talk about what the, um, what the theme of the particular session is. 
um, with the understanding that these themes are imperfect, right? I mean, we sort of, uh, you know, you, you always have to play the cards that you're dealt. And we, and Jen did a great job of grouping the talks into, I think, coherent sessions. Um, and so I'm going to do that for the first session, which is on graph models, or, or when I kind of look through the, the, the slides that people sent me in advance, I think really it's about representation more specifically, about representation of large networks and how that interacts with data from large networks. So I'll introduce the speakers in a group at the beginning, then we'll have them come on, and then we'll have one of these um, free-ranging discussion periods at the end where we'll turn off the cameras and we can all get rowdy. Um, so the four speakers in the first session are Patrick Wolf from uh, University College London, uh, Sebastiano Vigna from the University of Milan, uh, Peter Orbans from Columbia, and Ma Matt Salganic from Princeton, um, who's hopefully here. Oh, there he is. Hey, Matt. Um, and um, you know, my own subjective um, take on the four talks is that it nicely um, illustrates this theory experiment balance because um, on the more theoretical side amongst the four, uh, Patrick's going to start off by talking about network representations as large-scale limiting behaviors of a continuous function. And Peter will later talk about exchangeability and sparse graph applications or representations. And sandwiched in between those two talks or interspersed with them, Sebastiano will talk about um, empirical estimation of global properties in very large networks, including um, very interesting work that got some media attention last year um, on Facebook data. And Matt will talk about um, the problem of estimating HIV risk in, in, in social networks. So with that, let me um, begin the proceedings and let Patrick get started. <laughs> 